Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and this is my first video from my new apartment in Hagerstown, Maryland, where I have moved to to teach at a Catholic high school. I know I've been missing for quite some time. I haven't been recording and uploading videos, so I thought I should restart this entire project and today just mainly talk about my journey to high school teaching after I left my job at a Research One University. Mostly I'll be talking about how and through which agency was I able to find this wonderful job. So after I left my job at the university, I worked for a corporation for a few months. It wasn't my thing. People were really nice, but for me, the job wasn't really exciting. And probably it wasn't suited for my temperament as well. So I started looking for teaching jobs again jobs where I could actually practice my vocation of being in a classroom. And I already knew that re-entering the higher education, you know, with a full-time tenure track or tenure job would be next to impossible because of my age, but also because how the academy works. You know, most of the times they want to hire younger students. And the positions for uh, established scholars are pretty limited. So I decided I was going to try to apply to high school systems. Now in the United States, as you mo most of you might be aware, most high school systems require a state certification even to consider you for a full-time position. So obviously, the K-12 system run by the states was not necessarily an option for me. So I looked into private schools because private schools sometimes would hire you based on your experience and your education, but also with a promise that you will work towards certification. And in the process of doing that, I came across the website of Southern Teachers. Now, Southern Teachers is a private teacher placement agency. It's one of the oldest, actually the oldest teacher placement agency. And the best thing about them is, unlike other teacher placement agencies, is that they don't charge the applicants any fees. Any fees that they charge are charged to the school that hires you. So I signed up with their website and I'll post a link to the description. Now keep in mind that their sign up process and whether or not they accept you is pretty selective and will require a lot of work from you and a lot of materials from you. So for example, they'll need a copy of your certified credentials, your bachelor's, your master's degree. They will require an updated copy of your CV and they encourage you to have at least three recommendation letters uploaded to their system. More is better. So I asked five of my former colleagues and teachers to upload the letters. So after your portfolio with them is complete, they take your materials and pitch them to different schools. You can define which regions will you work in, which states would you work in. And you will soon start seeing in your account the links to the schools where they have pitched your profile, where they have sent your portfolio. And then from within their website, you can actually start the application process, upload whatever materials that particular school needs. And then from beyond that, the school will interview you. And then if they like what you have to offer, they'll offer you the job. But the first major step, finding places to place you 
and setting up that first interview was made possible after I completed my portfolio with Southern teachers by them. And so I can assure you that if you create an account with them and if they accept your credentials and ask you to create your portfolio, they will be one of the best agencies to place you as a teacher within a given region. So that's how I ended up interviewing for my current job. That's how I got this job and hence have moved to Hagerstown, Maryland, United States to start the current teaching year. So this is kind of the story of my journey back to teaching. I'm really excited about it and I'm looking forward to meeting my students on Monday. It is going to be a different kind of experience for me because all my experience of teaching in the United States is at college level. But I think it will be more rewarding because I will be interacting with students in their formative years. And maybe, maybe I can help them develop the skills that are necessary and that they will need to apply to colleges and eventually be successful to colleges. Another thing that I love about my school is the small classes and the community. I mean, I've been here for a week. I already know all the other teachers. I know all the administrators. And everyone has been kind and generous to me in guiding me, in helping me. So as I said earlier, this is just to let you know that I am now all set up in my new apartment. I start my new teaching job next week and that I will now be regularly posting my educational videos and my motivational videos. I would probably continue my series on advanced placement English because that's a course that I'm teaching and then that gives me a dual advantage. You can use those videos, but also my students will be able to use those videos. So I'll be back with more. In the meantime, if you have any questions about my new job or about Southern teachers, please feel free to post them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer those. Any other questions are also welcome. Thank you so much for your support, and I'm looking forward to continuing our relationship through this medium from a new place, from a new town. Stay safe, be kind and generous, and as always, thank you all so much, and peace and love.